Hey everyone, David Smith here at Alpine Engineering and Design. I wanted to take a moment to explain some of the reasons attorneys keep coming back to us for expert witness services on product liability cases. First of all, as consultants, we work on a wide variety of products, giving us broad expertise in many areas. We have often designed something similar to the technology at issue and can thus provide excellent insight into the design process, relevant standards, and technology. Most of our experts are both licensed professional engineers and certified safety professionals. Another reason is that we always like to include a basis for our opinions. We prefer to rely on standards, testing, or published works in the industry rather than because I'm an expert and I know. For example, we worked on a case where a man fell off the rear step of a garbage truck when it went over a bump in the road. He was found over 100 feet away from the bump that purportedly, that purportedly caused him to fall off. The speed of the garbage truck is limited when a man is on the back, and the expert on the other side claimed that the man fell off and went into a perfect roll, and that's how we ended up so far from the bump. This was clearly preposterous, but we didn't want to have a he said, she said argument for the jury. So we conducted a simple test with a crash dummy, showing that even at the relatively high speed of 35 miles per hour, people do not end up more than 15 to 20 feet away from the fall, because they don't go into a perfect roll. That case settled shortly after we produced the video. In another example, a boat trailer decoupled from a tow vehicle and crossed into oncoming traffic. There were fatalities. Among other things, we were examining the design and attachment of the trailer safety cables, whose sole purpose is to keep the trailer attached should accidental decoupling occur. In this instance, they failed because of poor design. To show that the cables were designed in a way that would cause them to fail, we acquired an exemplar trailer rented an airport runway, loaded the trailer with their appropriate weight and distribution, hooked it to a truck with additional auxiliary connections for safety, and dropped the trailer at 55 miles an hour. We used video cameras to record how long the safety cables maintained the connection between the truck and the trailer. We found that one lasted for two seconds, while the other failed in under one second. Neither lasted long enough to bring the trailer to a safe stop as required by the standard. That case also settled. Because of our experience and reputation, we receive numerous inquiries every week. We understand that the expert you select can have a significant impact on your case. And because we want you to be successful, we only accept cases that we feel are well within our expertise and that we can invest the appropriate amount of time into. If we do accept your case, please know that we will give you an honest assessment of the strengths and weaknesses of your case after reviewing the details. If that's the type of expert you're looking for, please give me a call and we'll see if it makes sense to work together. I look forward to our conversation. Thanks.